Now to a murder investigation that spans multiple states. The family of a judge shot at their New Jersey home and a man possibly linked to the crime found dead in Sullivan County. And tonight we're learning that the suspect may be linked to a murder all the way on the West Coast. We have team coverage on this story. We'll begin with our chief investigative reporter, Jonathan Deans, part of the team that broke the story for us yesterday, and he's been on it today. Jonathan. David, the FBI says he was targeting the judge and her family and perhaps a lawyer in California last week, too. Those who knew him described him as an oddball attorney. And in his writings, he raged against women and joined anti-feminist groups on Facebook. And he voiced anger at federal judge Esther Salas before he allegedly went to her New Jersey home yesterday. This is attorney Roy Den Hollander, and law enforcement officials say he was found dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound near Liberty, New York, this morning. And it was yesterday the FBI and U.S. Marshals believe Hollander showed up at the home of federal judge Salas. There, police say he shot and killed her son, wounded her husband. The judge was not injured. Hollander appeared in front of the judge last year in a fight over whether the military draft can be men only. The suspected killer later called the well-respected judge, quote, a lazy and incompetent Latina judge appointed by Obama. Hollander also wrote of his hatred of his own mother and other women and raged about female judges. Neighbors in North Brunswick saddened by the shooting, calling the judge and her family wonderful people. This family was a tight family. Just close, loving, doting parents. In addition to the upstate search, the FBI searching Hollander's Manhattan apartment for evidence, including perhaps a delivery or FedEx uniform used by the shooter at the judge's New Jersey home. The FBI believes Hollander's violent rampage may have started last week in California. There, a 52-year-old men's rights lawyer, Mark Angelucci, was shot and killed, also apparently by a man in a FedEx or delivery uniform. And not knowing that there was an assassin at the door, when he got Mark from his office, he saw the gun turn, tried to run away, and was shot in the back four times. Angelucci had also argued a case involving the question of drafting men only for the military. The FBI again searching his Manhattan location at this hour. Anyone with information has asked to call the FBI at 973-792-3001. This is the FBI and U.S. Marshals are in the process of warning judges and others in the legal community who in the past crossed paths with Hollander in case he had been keeping some kind of hit list. In the newsroom, Jonathan Deans, News 4. Jonathan, thank you. And our team covered stretches to the area of the Catskills, where, as we say, the suspect's body was found. News 4's Adam Cooperstein covering that for us near Liberty. Adam? Yeah, David, at this rural police station, 140 miles away from that crime scene in New Jersey, you've got the FBI, U.S. Marshals, local law enforcement all gathered right now searching that suspect's vehicle. And we're told. The evidence they found is revealing. Here's a look from Chopper 4 this afternoon. It's about 15 miles north of here near Campground, where law enforcement sources say the body of Roy Den Hollander was discovered this morning. Those sources say the gun found at the scene is similar to the gun used in yesterday's shooting and may be a match based on ballistics. They also say they discovered files near the body that appear to be research about not only Judge Salas, but others. And that includes, we've now learned, Chief Judge of the Court of Appeals and State of New York, Janet DeFiori, who's also the former Westchester District Attorney. So that evidence, along with Hollander's history raging against women, being a men's rights attorney, has authorities confident connecting him to that awful shooting yesterday at the doorstep of Judge Salas in New Jersey. And on top of that, if he had other targets or what may have caused him to allegedly take his own life, that right now remains unclear. Reporting live from Liberty, New York, Adam Cooperstein, News 4 New York. Okay.